everyone. Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Happy Friday to you and thank you for joining us tonight. This video is another episode of Friend Mail Friday where we have packages sent in from friends of the channel and this is our biggest one yet. So looking forward to this and I just got back from the National late last night with Eric and the first package we're going to open tonight is from a close friend of the channel. You guys may know him as Chad Hopkins. Got to meet him in person yesterday. Very, very cool guy. Um, very nice to talk to. And like I said, close friend of the channel. Um, all around awesome guy. And he handed me this in person. Got to chat with him for a little bit there. So let's check out and see what Chad Hopkins um, has in store for us in this box. He did give me a small hint that... There's an error card that I've been after in here, so I didn't want to waste any time looking at what, and whoa, whoa, right off the bat here, 87 Donruss opening day. Okay, if you open and pull the error card, I will pay to have it great. We can sell it and put money towards a channel, and he's referring to the Johnny Ray error card, the Barry Bonds Johnny Ray error card. I've been wanting that card for quite some time. Very cool. We're going to have to check that out. I've been after that card for quite a while. And also, um, this is pretty nice too. This is Donra's Best um, 88. I picked this up for you. Might be fun to open and share or just pass it on. This is a set I don't come across very often. Uh, the 88 Donra's Baseball's Best. Very cool um, seeing that. I would never come across that. And I don't think I see another note. I don't know if Chad there's another note attached in here or not. Let's see another one, but very, very cool stuff. I say, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find this uh, Johnny Ray error card in here, Chad. What do you say, guys? Thank you very much, Chad. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, the, uh, the thing that I got for you arrives tomorrow. The seller took his good old time shipping it out, which is always fun. But if you guys are wondering, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it, but um, the air card is Barry Bonds. It's actually Johnny Ray that's pictured. And um, we'll go through all these. I think he's closer towards one of these in one of these stacks. But there's still some good cards in here and also some rookies and whatnot, like Barry Larkin's in here, Bo Jackson. These aren't in chrono chronological order either, so we'll go. We'll go through these real quick because, we, like I said, we have a lot of packages to go through. So I don't want to make this video too long because standard videos. There's the Bo Jackson uh, first year rookie card. It's a nice one there. Sandberg. Standard videos take so long to upload. That's why I like doing live stream videos a little better. Also, Will Clark rookie year card there. Nice one. I always like this set. I still am sitting on one. I was going to give it away at some point, actually. What I do is I team bag these back up and I put them back in here for safekeeping. Maybe we can find the error card. The, the Johnny Ray error card is uh, supposedly only in 1% of these. So, fingers crossed that the one we have here is part of that 1%. I swear last year at the National, I saw the Johnny Ray error card and I passed on it. I was exhausted and not thinking clearly and I walked right by it in like a dollar bin. Maybe it was a reprint, but I've never seen that card be reprinted before. So um, maybe someone just didn't know what they had either. There's always a possibility of that. I feel like it's in this stack of the next one, the Barry Bonds card. Pretty valuable card overall, overall and very nice and here we go Barry Bonds is it Bonds picture in the front or is it Johnny Ray who is it gonna be is it gonna be the infamous air card let's build some suspense here thanks again Chad for providing me with this regardless this is still an awesome set whether we pull the air card on there's actual Johnny Ray but is he gonna be pictured on the Bonds card Will be very bonds. 
It is Barry Bonds. Oh well, we still gave it a shot. Still a very awesome set regardless. I thank you very much, Chad. Like I said, we'll probably give the other one away that I have, and I'll probably keep this one for my personal collection because I do like this set a lot. Some uh, pretty heavy hitters in here, first year cards and everything else. And uh, I'll save this one for another video to open up or just for a rainy day even. Um, some nice first year cards in here as well, Roberto Alomar. Not sure if Edgar Martinez is in this one or not. I know he's in Donald's Rookies for 88. But some very nice uh, sets here overall, Chad. Thank you very much, and it was definitely a pleasure meeting you. I appreciate everything, and uh, let me know whenever you get your package in the mail. Hopefully you definitely like what I got you and don't have it already. The next one we're going to do is from a Tom Gothier. Not real familiar with the, uh, the name there. It says, open this side up for FMF. So we'll follow those instructions here. And I see a note on top. From Tom. Let's check that out first, see what it says. And it says, hi John, I'm relatively new to your channel. I've been a subscriber ever since I came across your video, possibly your brothers, of you and Eric at the at an estate sale auction where there was tons of cards and vintage toys. Yeah, that was a good one. I, I liked that uh, auction a lot, that was awesome. I tuned in for the vintage toys since I'm a big collector of 80s, 90s toys and video games. Since watching you bid and buy up all those sweet vintage toys and been hooked on your channel, I ended up going to your channel because of the toys more than the baseball cards. That being said, I also collected baseball cards as a child and still have all of them today. And watching you open up those packs really bring back a lot of good memories. You come off as a great guy and I enjoy tuning into your live streams. Here's a small token of appreciation, lol, to you collecting toys. I come across those things quite often enjoy. Tom Gothier. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, Tom. I really appreciate that, man. Very awesome to uh, talk to meet another fellow collector. Definitely want to start doing some more toy videos. I know I've definitely uh, strayed away from that a little bit and done a lot more baseball card videos. And there definitely will be some more on the way. That auction was really awesome. Let's check out, oh, we have a lot of loose figures in here. I see some TMNT figures and some handhelds from Tiger Electronics, football, baseball, Bo Jackson. I remember that one. A bunch of TMNT loose figures and a Muddy Max. Wow, this is awesome, Tom. And some, some what are these? Some baseball helmets too, nice. So a very nice variety in here. Muddy Max too, very, very cool. A bunch of different uh, series of turtles. Ace Duck right there. Napoleon Bonafrog and some different series of uh, Leonardo and also Donatello here, a sports series. Very cool, Michelangelo. Definitely had this one as a kid too. And a Dick Tracy figure too as well. So a nice variety here. And is this a Mad Ball? Is this a Mad Ball? It kind of looks like one. I never owned any of these when I was a kid, but I was always one of one. He's actually made a comeback if it is. Um, very cool stuff. I like that a lot. This is all very, very awesome. And who remembers Bo Jackson football, baseball? This is freaking awesome. I feel like I wanted this when I was a kid really bad and never got it for whatever reason. Tiger handheld electronics were all the craze if you're a kid in the uh, late 80s and 90s. These were sick. I'm not sure what year this came out in. Probably 1990s, what it says on the back. Very, very awesome. Definitely have to play that some over the weekend. And let's check out this Muddy Max. Not exactly sure what place that this is, but I've seen it before. Very cool stuff. And it has the actual figures too, which is something you don't see every day. Most of the time you come across these play sets, they're missing everything. It looks like it's complete. Very awesome stuff, Tom. Very cool. So you have Max. You guys remember Muddy Max in the mid 90s. It was like the uh, boys version of Polly Pocket. We have the figures in here and you have little tiny Money Max there and you have the bad guys in there. Very awesome stuff. These uh, definitely came in handy on long car uh, car rides and vacations and everything else. And they're very highly, highly collectible now. I think I still have one from my childhood and I have one on the card and that is it. So now I have a... Uh, a loose one as well to display so thank you very much for that tom very cool of you 
and also some turtles too for my mantle display. I don't think I have any turtles at all to display on my mantle. Loose figures, and we have a bunch of different baseball helmets in here from Tom. The old ice cream helmets. You guys remember these? Getting these at uh, I think Dairy Queen used to have these. Maybe they're bigger. I can't remember. We have some Brewers ones here. Where they'd give you. Uh, Ice cream scoops inside of those. Those were always awesome back in the day. And a ton of mini ones. We used to collect sets of these. Brewers, Blue Jays. And we have some old school ones in here as well. Old school Orioles. There is the Red Sox. And there's also some blank ones in there too. This is pretty sick too. There's a Reds one. Or uh, getting these out of quarter vending machines all the time. It takes me back. I like seeing those a lot. Very cool uh, bag of stuff here. Very cool. Love it. Spend some time going through those a little more later. Very nice. Thank you so much for everything, Tom. I really appreciate that, man. If there's anything you're looking for, drop me a line in the comments down below. I'm not really uh, familiar with what your uh, your username is, but uh, if you feel like it, drop me a line down below, and uh, I'll send you something back if there's any cards you're looking for or anything. I really appreciate you taking the time to send me some mail. And... Um, Thank you for the kind words as well. Always nice to meet a fellow collector. And I appreciate all your support, Tom. Thank you again, man. Everything is awesome, dude. Up next, we got a package from none other than Austin Farmer. Or the collector, formerly known as Austin Farmer. Austin has sent us some things the last couple weeks. I think there was two packages from him last week. Close friend of the channel, Austin Farmer. Check out and see what Austin sent out. Some packs in here. Could it be 90 Tops or 87 Tops? It is 87 Tops pack here. Could be a Barry Bonds or Bo Jackson rookie in there. And there's a note and a team bag with some cards in it. And if you want a pack of Cello, it could be 87 Tops. It is 87 Tops Cello pack. Very nice. Let's check out and see what Austin wrote on the note. And it says, hey, John, at the risk of bringing back your migraines... Here is another handwritten letter. I didn't have much to send this week, but I didn't want to send you some stuff I think you'll appreciate. I hope you'll enjoy the singles I sent as well as the 1987 Tops Pack and 87 Tops Cello Pack. Sorry for the troll cards. I couldn't resist. FYI, if you want to know how worthless they are, they cost me just over a buck. I hope the rookies I sent make up for that. Keep up the good work. Sincerely, Austin. P.S. You can open the packs live or whenever you want. Hope you find a Bonds. Well, thanks so much, Austin, and thank you for the legible uh, note there. <laughs> Much more legible than it was the last time you sent it. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out and see what the uh, cards are first, I guess, and then we'll take our or try our luck at the packs. I see a Shilling rookie card in the back, though. 89 Don Russ. There's a nice Nolan Ryan, 1982 Fleer. I don't know if I've ever seen that card before. That is a nice one. Very nice. Pretty good shape, too. Nolan Ryan, 1982 Fleer. I like that card a lot. Very nice. And there's a Rich Gossage. 82 Tops. Randolph, 82 Tops. Ron Guidry. And Mr. October. Dave Winfield. <laughs> and here we go. Here's the troll. Oh, I see a Wade Boggs rookie in here. 83 Fleer. Whoa! Very nice! I'll put that off to the side for a second. We'll check the troll cards out. <laughs> the Bernard Gilkey, 92 Don Russ. The Gilkey. Oh, Bernard, Bernard Gilkey Tops Chrome. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> and the second year, Bernard Gilkey, 91 Tops. <laughs> Can't escape Bernard Gilkey on this channel. Always seem to pull his cards out of packs. Pretty hilarious stuff. And back to the amazing rookie cards here. Uh, Wade Boggs, 83 Fleer rookie card. Very nice. This is in better shape than the one that I already own. The one that I have is pretty uh, off-center. This one's got a little stain I see up here. But uh, overall, mine is centered terribly compared to this one. And Schilling, 89 Don Russ rookie card. Can't have too many of that card. I have a bunch of it already. That's why I say that. But I uh, always like that card. like having it in my PC. And uh, I'll definitely keep this one on my PC as well. Thanks so much, Austin. These are some very nice cards and some nice uh, Stars Hall of Famers of the 80s there. And very nice Nolan Ryan 82 Fleer as well. I like those a lot, man. Thank you so much. 
and here's two packs 87 fully, or 87 tops and a chance at a possible bonds a Bo Jackson Barry Larkin rookie card maybe we'll pull one of those out of here haven't seen these cards in a while so my stomach can take them Dave Parker is definitely at least he was always a sign for a rookie card in the old rack boxes I was breaking can't remember who it was though I guess not in this pack. He was signaling Pat Dodson in that one. And a cello pack. I actually have a, a cello pack saved with Bo Jackson on top. Just keeping it. I also have a rack pack of bonds on top. I want to save too. I bought a box off some guy at a flea market and those were on top. So I kept them. And there's some gum, but we're not going to try those today. Not feeling the gum today. Hoping for one of these nice rookies at 87. So uh, Mark McGuire's first Major League Tops card. It's a Boggs All-Star card. A chance of me pulling one of these key rookies. There's a Bucko, but it's Bob Walk. Gary Carter. So no Bonds, no Jackson, and no Larkin in there, but still fun regardless. I still really appreciate what you sent, Austin. Very nice of you, and some very nice cards, though. Like I said, thanks a lot, man. Awesome package all around. Funny troll cards, and that box is awesome. I know there's a stain on it, but uh, like I said, still nicely uh, better center than the one that I already have on my PC. So really cool stuff, Austin. Really appreciate all your support, man. Thank you so much. Like I said, anything you're looking for, let me know. I know you're a Jeter collector, so uh, I might have something I can send back down to you, man. So keep an eye out for something from me here real soon, Austin. Thanks again, man. Next up, we got a package from Mr. Joe Mansman. Joe Mansby, Mansman he resides in New Jersey and is also a friend of the channel. Been a friend of the channel for quite some time, probably since the beginning, I want to say. Very cool dude speak with him on Instagram through Messenger on there and there's a note in here Let's check that out first turn this around so you can't see his address and the note says John I'm enjoying the videos here's some stuff for your collection to give the fans enjoy Joe Mansman well, that's really nice of you Joe Let's check out and see what Joe sent for me to pass on to all you guys he did a good job uh, packaging this up and he did he actually did give me a little heads up on this this is really awesome Kurt Russell, Big Trouble in Little China, Jack Burton figure. It's a reaction figure. These came out a few years ago. But um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen Big Trouble in Little China. It's a classic movie. Very awesome stuff. I haven't really started collecting these reaction figures. If I see them for pretty cheap, I'll pick them up here and there. They're made by Funko Pop. But um, this is a very awesome uh, figure, though, regardless. Very cool collectible. I don't see a year on here, but... Uh, yeah, 2015 these came out, so not too old, but still uh, iconic movie overall, and just very cool in general collectible. So thank you very much for that, Joe Manson. I really appreciate that. And there's some other stuff in here, too. Something else I haven't seen in a little while. And sealed. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. 1991 Micro Tops Baseball set. Pretty awesome stuff. I remember when these came out many, many years ago, and uh, a lot of people had them in one of them. I never had them when I was younger, but um, really cool stuff, really cool. I think we'll probably end up giving that away at some point. Very nice. Joe wants us to pass these on to our fans, and there's a lot of singles. Some newer ones in here as well. I see some newer Stadium Club with an Acuna. And I also see some tops big, so quite a variety in here from Joe Mansman. Now let's start off with this stack. A Robin Ventura rookie card, very nice, from Topps Big. I used to love this card when I was younger. Definitely used to pack search when I was younger in, uh, in the older Hills stores, looking for this card and other ones as well to the back of packs. As you can see through the back of these, very cool. Here's a nice Sammy Sosa. I'm not sure uh, what year this is from. Never seen this card before. Very cool. Aaron Hicks rookie card. Was that 2014 Tops? 2013 Tops card there. Mark McGuire. Delgado 93 per deck. 
second year card. So there's a Canseco. 88 Superstars card. Never seen that one before. A lot of Canseco fans on this channel. Moises Alou. It's a second year card. Rated rookie from 91 Don Ross. And here's a nice Clemente. The 83 Tops design. 30th, 35th anniversary there. Very nice card. Clemente, the hometown team there. And a nice Bryce Harper from Panini Don Ross. Very nice. like that one a lot. And diving into the next stack here is a nice Acuna from 2019 Stadium Club. The Jackson, Mr. October, the 87 Tops design. Jose Lean, my favorite ball player from my older days. Bonds, 91 Fleur Ultra. Jared Weaver, chasing history card. It's a cool one. Like that card. Addison Russell, Bone Chrome. Machado, the old 81 Don Russ design. There's a Boggs, kind of like that Conseco, 88 Action Superstars. Van Slyke, Eric's old fair player. And Ian Desmond, not sure. 2016 Tops. Never seen this before either. Tops Gallery, I guess. It's a Biggio, 91 Stadium Club. Van Slyke, 92 Turtle Play. Earl Hershiser, 89 Tops. All Star card. Harold Baines, 88 Scorer. Nice Hall of Famer there. 91 per deck. Bashing Years McGuire card. 93 per deck. Uh, Ventura and the Big Hurt. Southside Sluggers. I used to like that card a lot when I was younger. There's Tim Raines. Nice one. Tina Martinez. Olympic card. Nice one. 88 tops traded. I always loved that card. That is a nice one. And right behind it, Bagwell rookie card. Very nice. Jeff Bagwell, 91 Stadium Club. Two very nice rookies back to back. And this is a card I always liked this when I was younger. I always thought it was such a cool card. 92 tops. Cal Ripken. Very cool. George Brett, 93 per deck. And I was always intrigued by these two, these metal cards. Leaf Steel. Manny Ramirez. Very cool stuff. And these are kind of cool, too. Somebody sent me one of these a while ago. I want to see these older Coca-Cola cards, the 82 Tops design. Bob Ojeda. Very cool. Tony Perez. Chuck Rainey. Bob Stanley. So a bunch of Red Sox here. Jim Rice. John Tudor and Carl Yastrzemski. Very cool stuff. Nice. Awesome stack of cards, Joe. Thank you very much. And we still have more in here. There's a Derek Jeter rookie card. 93 per deck. Derek Jeter rookie. Super awesome. Love that card. Thank you so much, Joe. Very nice. Love getting that card. Very cool. Very, very cool stack of cards here. Glavin rookie card. After that, actually, this is second year Glavin, 89 Bowman. Sheffield rookie card. That's a nice one. I don't even know if I have that in my PC or not. And here's Pedro J and Randy Johnson. Never seen that one before. That's a cool one. Salvador Perez, Bowman Chrome. Cool one, too. Bryce Harper. This is 2013 tops. I'm getting better. 2013 tops. And more of those Coke cards. Must be the whole set. Collect all 22 of your favorite stars. And it's the Red Sox. So this must be the whole set that he said. And there's Eckersley and Dwight Evans. Very nice. Carney Lansford. Really cool stuff, Joe. Thanks so much, man. I really, really appreciate that. So some of the stuff will give away. Some of it I'll keep for my PC. Probably keep that for my PC. Unless uh, you guys think we should uh, give that away at some point. But uh, let me know down in the comments. And Joe, let me know if there's anything else you're looking for. I know you're looking for that Jerry Kuzman 69 Tops that I already sent you. But let me know if there's anything else you're after. I know you're a Mets fan. And uh, I'd like to get you something sent back in return for your generosity, man. I really appreciate you going out of your way to send me uh, all this awesome stuff, man. And just for your support in general. Next one up is from another Joe. This time it's from Joan Baumgarten. Joe is also a close friend of the channel. Really awesome guy. They recognize him from live stream breaks we do. He is always in on the breaks and always coming on videos. All around, really awesome guy. Also native to Pennsylvania with Eric and I. I'm going to open this from the bottom so you can't see the dress. Check out and see what Joe sent us. See another very bottom here. 
we'll individually wrap things here. Let's see what this note says. It says, hey John, channel is awesome and is becoming one of the best on YouTube. Love the brakes, older cards and vintage toys like TMNT, Tales from the Crypt figures, here's to you Chris Weaver, and Ghostbusters collectibles that are all mixed in. No other channel has the baseball and vintage toy mix like you. Thanks so much for the kind words, Joe. I really appreciate that, man. Have you ever seen The Big Lebowski? It's my favorite all-time comedy, and they produced a cool line of figures, too, but are super expensive on eBay now. I was wondering if you had any to show us in your PC. I actually don't. I've seen The Big Lebowski. It's been a long time, and I knew they made figures, but I never, ever come across them. I'll keep an eye out, though. Also, I love, love, love the older packs you send me for fan mail Friday, or friend mail Friday responses. A lot of them I never had before since they came out while I was out of the hobby. Whatever you could send back, I could use some leaf. Would be awesome. Catch you on the live streams, Joe. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, Joe. I'm very happy to hear that you uh, enjoy the channel. And uh, thank you so much for the kind words. Big Lebowski figures. I'll keep an eye out for them. Like I said, I never see them, though. Never see those. But, um... We go to a lot of places, so... Let's start looking for them. Big Lebowski is an awesome movie. Something I need to definitely go and watch again here sometime soon. And I think I have something up your alley for another response here to send back. And I see a 75 Tops card in here. Wilbur Wood... 1975 tops, Wilbur Forrester Wood. So some vintage in here, and a Hoyt Wilhelm. A couple Hoyt Wilhelm cards. This is 1964 tops, and Hoyt Wilhelm uh, from 1970, in pretty decent shape overall. And a Steven Strasberg 2010 Bowman Prospects card. That is a nice one, and it's a near mint PSA seven. Definitely one I did not have. Very nice. Wow. Thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you very, very much. Very nice combination of cards there. Definitely um, don't really have any of his, his cards at all whatsoever, as most of the cards I have are really before the year 2000. So, Hoyt Wilhelm as well. I think those are probably the first cards I have of his, too. We have a bunch of singles in here as well. So Joseph definitely hooked us up once again like he always does. I see a Charlie Blackman number card here. It's 221 on 999. That's a nice one. All-Stars card. A press proof. Orlandia, Orlando Arcia. Ryan Braun, also numbered. 81 on a 199. Uh... 267 out of 349. Mookie Betts. A Victor Robles rated rookie card. Didn't have that one. Here's a nice one. Raphael Devers rated rookie. Ahmed Rosario. Willie Calhoun. Dustin Fowler. Brandon Woodruff. Ryan McMahon. Dominic Smith. Chris Flexen. Paul Blackburn. Tyler Molly. There's a nice Iron Man card. Chris Bryant. Nice one. Jose Altuve, Mookie Betts, and an auto is coming, and it's Brian Anderson, the Signature Series, 93 out of 99. Very nice, and a patch relic for Brian Ellington, Promising Pros. Very cool stuff. Very, very nice. Thank you so much, Joe. That is an awesome stack of cards. Very, very thoughtful. Nice uh, stuff you sent. As always, Joe, amazing. I definitely will get something out to you here. Um, early, something, uh, sometime early next week. Next one up is from Jennifer and Scott Zimmerman, who are somewhat local to us here in PA, probably about 45 minutes away from us. And they sent us a really awesome package of stuff last week, full of turtles and other things, toys alike. And I was just blown away by it. Very awesome people. It looks like we have another package full of amazing stuff all over again. I see a Batman figure. It looks like a Christmas tree ornament. Um, very awesome. Right off the bat there. And I see Ghostbusters 2 cards. A different, uh, actually a variety of stack of cards here. And uh, there's a note as well. So we'll read that first. Let's put this off to the side. 
So a mixed non-sports bag. And it says, hey John, Scott said your indie poster is looking lonely, so he wanted to send these movies. Thanks so much for the the store set and the awesome all-star set. Really cool. Keep the great videos. How about an 83 Don Rust break? Jen and Scott Zimmerman. Thank you so much. Um, 83 Don Rust. That would be pretty cool. You may be in store for something here pretty soon. I picked up some older boxes at National that will be shown on Sunday on the recap. There probably won't be a weekend recap video this Sunday. It'll probably be a National recap video um, showing everything I picked up. And I picked up, I think, probably about 10 wax boxes. And Jonathan H. and I collaborated and picked up some old 80s stuff. This is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Make sure I got everything out of here. There's nothing left hiding. Okay. So there may be an older 80s Don Russ, like early 80s Don Russ break here coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that this weekend. Um, actually, another 80s, mid 80s break coming up here real soon. They'll be posted um, probably tomorrow night on Patreon. And um, yeah, from then on out. So. Right off the bat here, we have the Indiana Jones Trilogy on VHS. Pretty awesome. I always wanted this as a kid. I never had it. Pretty sick. And this matches what Jen was referring to. My Indiana Jones double feature VHS uh, movie display poster. <laughs> Pretty awesome that you guys sent me the VHS Trilogy. I have the uh, the DVD Trilogy, but I don't have the, the VHS. And I have a uh, VHS combo TV VCR so um, I can watch these now while I am looking at baseball cards and stuff so pretty awesome one of my favorite trilogies of all time of course this and Back to the Future I would say um, probably take the cake I think awesome missing one there I, I don't consider Ghostbusters a trilogy because it has not become one yet I don't really have a lot of hope for the one next year Hopefully I'm wrong. Let's see what the singles they sent are. Ghostbusters 2, a sticker card here. Very, very nice. And Batman Returns. The Penguin rallying his troops. All, all the uh, penguins there. Really cool. And Catwoman. Also a Batman Returns. And there's my Keaton as Batman and Selena Kyle. Cat Challenge Bat. And also some WCW cards. Sting, Lex Luger, Ric Flair. Woo! And Doom. Very cool stuff. Very cool. Thank you for the uh, random mix of cards there. I appreciate that. And also the very cool Batman ornament there. I like that a lot. 2004, it says. I haven't uh, got a Christmas tree from my house yet, but uh, I think this year is the year. If I don't have one yet, I definitely should get one just to hang this ornament up because it is really sick. But thanks so much, Jennifer. And um, definitely keep an eye on those breaks. We will have an older 80s, a uh, bunch of older 80s ones coming up here soon. So, uh, thanks again. I'm glad you liked the stuff that I sent in return. I appreciate all yours and Scott's support. Put this in the background now. <laughs> Next to the poster. Next one up is from a close friend of the channel, Jonathan Hall. You guys might know him as Jonathan H. Jonathan H. in Texas. Did a good job taping this up. I'm gonna open it off camera so his address stays hidden for the time being. There is a note in here. I'm wondering if it's gonna be a gag gift. Is it gonna be full of Bernard Gilkey's, Chris Savos? What is gonna be in here? And it looks like it could be a gag gift. It says, Zero John Muhahaha, Jonathan Hall. That could be a sign of things to come. There's something wrapped up in here that is pretty well concealed. A stack of cards that could be Bernard Gilkey's. And we have something hidden in the bubble mailer here. I'll we'll put this off to the side. What could we have in here? I see Toss Black Gold. I don't think Bernard Gilkey was in Toss Black Gold. I used to love that set. I actually sent away. And, whoa. Speaking of sending away for it, that is awesome, man. Wow. I was just going to say, I sent away for this when I was a kid. 
and I got them all back, and I don't know what ever happened to them. So he sent me the whole black gold set, I think. I think there's A, B, and C, or there was there D too. This is this is sick, man. And they came in these like packages, like almost like you got them on a cereal box. So you get the redemption card, you send those in once you get on a packs, and then they send you these and return it. They took forever, what felt like forever, like months. This is freaking awesome. Here's all the cards in each package on the front here. Very, very cool. 93 Tops Black Gold. Love that set. And some Jose Leans. Have to send Jose Leans because that was my favorite player on. <laughs> More troll packs. We, we can tell John H was ripping John Quax. <laughs> Billy Ripken Air card. And it's the Black Box version. I still love that card regardless. I always will. Al Leiter rookie card. And there's a Cam Eddy rookie card. And of course, it would not be a package from Jonathan H without the legendary Eric Plunk rookie card. I'm not even, I don't even know who that other guy is. Who's that other guy on there? This is the only guy we're focused on. Eric Plunk rookie card. <laughs> what an amazing stack of cards there. And I see a John Crock Diamond Kings card here. Bagwell's a nice one. Griffey Don Russ, Scott Sanderson. <laughs> Were these cards from my more recent break? I feel like they might have been. Chris Sabo, Todd Van Poppa, what a hot card what that was back in the day. Bernard Gilkey, <laughs> of course, Bernard Gilkey's got to be in there. And Bo Jackson, Bo Nose card. What a amazingly hot card that was back in 1990. I think it had like a $20 price tag on it back then. People still sell it for like five bucks, and some people still pay it. I want to say we gave that away on here like a couple months ago and people were going wild over it. The Bo football baseball card. Here's the Jose Lean missing tooth card. 89 Don Russ. Can't escape Sabo or Swindell. Or Croc has been added to the mix. <laughs> a ton of Jose Leans. Nice. There's a Fred McGriff leaf card. He pulled two of these. John uh, John Hall did a break recently on on the Leaf uh, Don Ross hybrid and pulled two McGriff Ray rookie cards. I like this card. I actually almost bought this at uh, the National for a buck. Glad I didn't. I didn't know you were gonna send me it. So thank you very much for that, Jonathan. Regardless of the troll cards in there, there's still some decent ones that I like. And this set is awesome. Like I said, uh, I was so stoked to get that when I was a kid. What do we have in here? This is like. This looks like it's a baseball of some sort. It better not be what I think it is, John. <laughs> I'm, I'm, more, I'm really worried. I see a ball in Fred McGriff. Whoa. Fred McGriff? Wow. Is this an autographed Fred McGriff ball? Is that what that is? That's pretty I mean, that's pretty sick if so. I mean I can't tell by the signature. The signature looks really weird, but uh if that's what that is, that's freaking awesome, man. Thank you very much, John. And then I that is sick. Very, very cool. Yeah, I guess it's an autographed Fred McGriff ball. Uh, can't say that I remember the last time I saw Fred McGriff's autograph, but um, very, very cool stuff if that's actually his autograph on there. I'm not sure why I would say Fred McGriff on the outside. I mean, anyone can print that out on their own personal computer <laughs> and write some scribbles on there. But still, I don't, know, I don't think John will go to that extent of doing that, but that's pretty awesome, man. Thank you so much. Fred McGriff auto ball. That is amazing, man. Very, very cool. I thought, I for sure thought it would be a Bernard Gilkey autograph ball. That is freaking sick, man. Fred McGriff Auto. Wow. I was always a huge Fred McGriff fan when I was younger. We have one more package uh, from John, and it looks like we have more troll, more troll cards in here. More John Crux. More Bernard Gilkeys. Been <laughs> last. Can't escape Jose Lean anymore. I think I have like a hundred of every single Jose Lean card. 
ever made. Eric Plunk. Greg Swindell. <laughs> hey, Greg Swindell rookie card. More ugly Eric Plunk cards. <laughs> More hideous cards. And there's something in the top loader. Pray for something good here. It's an Ozzy Smith 83 Fleer. It's a nice one. Ozzy Smith 84 Fleer and Ozzy Smith 80, uh, what is it, 82 Fleer? Or 81 Fleer, actually. 81 Fleer. It's a nice one. And 81 Tops Ozzy. Nice one as well. So a bunch of nice Ozzy Smith cards there. Very nice. I know John bought an Ozzy Smith collection recently, so I'm guessing that's what those are from. Very cool stuff. They're all in nice shape, too. Very nice shape. Nice ones. I like those ones a lot. Especially after the sea of troll cards I've been going through. <laughs> Those for a breath of fresh air. Mike Messina's second year cards, a nice one as well. Messina is a Hall of Famer. Daryl Kyle, rest in peace, Daryl Kyle. Terry Pendleton, never liked Terry Pendleton, neither did Eric. Croc again, Bobby Bo, always like Bobby Bo and Van Slyke. More Croc cards. Bernard <laughs> Gilkey, that awful Croc studio card. And Bernard Gilkey again. I think it's his second year card. I want to say his rookie was 1990. Bowman, I want to say. Oh, Bernard Gilkey, the unibrow there. And we have one more thing left in this Jonathan Hall package. I want to say we have another box from him that's from an eBay seller. Open last, it says. So we shall. Eric Plunk. Greg Swindell. <laughs> oh, that card is so hideous. More, another Eric Plunk rookie card. <laughs> Quite might possibly be the worst package thing ever. Like my head is gonna explode right now because of all the hits in this package. The suspense has built up so much for all these Eric Plunks <laughs> and Swindells. This is too much. This is way too much. YouTube is gonna go nuts over this. Multiple Plunks and Swindells. This is insanity. Absolutely crazy package from Jonathan Hall. Absolutely crazy. A Fred McGriff autograph in there, in the mix of all the Plunks, Gilkies, and everything else we got. There's a McGriff auto that somehow surfaced. Amazing stuff, Jonathan Hall, as always. Hilarious, as always. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Second to last one up we have is from Dave Miniachi. Damien Yashi has been a long time uh, friend of the channel as well. Long time subscriber. And also a Pennsylvania native. Pretty heavy box here. Actually, we have three left. My fault. One hiding there. I think we have a order 95 score or something. What is this? Wow. There's a note hidden here in the very bottom. I see some packs. See what Dave said. Dave says, John, hey, hope you're doing well. As always, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. I found some stuff you might like. I found a couple of shops in Philly you'd love and make a killing at if you ever in town. I found this box at a flea market. The guy had two and just wanted to be rid of them and gave them to me for just five bucks a piece. One for you, one for me. I pulled the A Rod rookie out of mine, so hopefully you have good luck as well. Feel free to open during a throwback Thursday. Or turn back the clock Tuesday for us here would make for a fun video. As always, thanks again for the videos and effort in the hobby. Best, Dave. P.S. Cubs, Phillies, and oddball cards are always welcome. Well, that sounds just absolutely awesome. You uh, opened this and got A Rod Rookie. I don't even know what this is. I know it's 95 score, a collector kit. Never seen anything like this before. 26 assorted packs of 95 score. Series 1 and 2. One of 30 score rules, oversized cards. Less than 3,500 sets printed. Official 95 score baseball collector binder. 10 collector pages. This is freaking awesome, man. I've never seen anything like this before. Contains more than 300 cards. One oversized score rules card. Wow. I can't wait to open this. We'll definitely have to uh, save this for a future video, rip this open. This is something I've never seen before. I always like 95 score, too. I have some packs here, too. We have 91 Don Rossello pack, 
or jumbo pack, I should say, an older Sport Flix pack. Um, what is this, 89 or 90? 1990, it looks like. Um, one of those old, uh, like, Looney Tunes card packs with Reggie Jackson, Nolan Ryan. And it looks like we have something that's sliced open here. Let's see a Strawberry 87 Tops All-Star card on top. Lenny Dykstra, Eric Show. And we have some older Buckos here from the late, or actually the 80s. There's a nice one, McGuire and Hinseiko. From 88 Tops. Aaron Seeley, Jose Lean sticker, never seen that one before. There's an Aaron Seeley impact card, never seen that one before. Eric Plunk, <laughs> a couple of Eric Plunks, Bernard Gilkey too, and of course, Chris Savo. <laughs> I've never seen these ones before either. The Performer Collection, 21 and 24, those are pretty cool. 7-Eleven, Sitco cards. Huh, never seen those before. Interesting stuff, and of course, Kmart cards. Thanks a lot, Dave, really awesome. I'm gonna save these other ones too. Save those for another day to rip these open. I've definitely seen those before too. I haven't seen them in a while, but this score box is really cool. And for only five bucks, I'd say you got a very good deal for 26 packs of 95 score, especially because of uh, all the random inserts as well you can pull out of there. That is pretty awesome. I definitely will be sending some your way um, sometime early next week, Dave. Thanks again, man. Really appreciate it, man. Very awesome. Second to last one up we have is gonna be from an SM Parks, and this is gonna be from Jonathan Hall again. SM Parks is the name of the eBay seller. And as you know, Jonathan Hall has sent me many things from SM Parks before in the past, FMF. And it's usually cops and crooks figures. So I'm wondering if today will be any different than in the past. Because he has it looks like it's another Coffs and Crooks figure here. Let me move this off to the side. It is. I think I need four more to complete the entire Series 2. And actually the entire toy line in general. And Jonathan Hall has been helping me out that big time. It's Bullet! Wow! He sent me Bullet! And the card looks pretty nice. This is in great shape. Wow. And Bullet is a pretty pricey figure overall. Um, the bubble is a little attached down there, but that is not a big deal at all whatsoever. This guy will get thrown into a toy shield case. I actually have one sitting on standby right here. I ordered a couple too many last time on purpose because I'm planning on completing this whole line. And I hate... Getting these or find these in the wild and then not having enough cases for them because then you gotta buy them one at a time or whatever. So I always try to buy them bulk. This is amazing, Jonathan All. Thank you so much, man. This is in perfect condition. Pristine. Looks like it just hung on a shelf yesterday in 1988. Wow. So amazing. This is one of my favorite toy lines of all time. Cops and Crooks. This is the second to last uh, Cops or actually crooks figures I need for series two um the only one that remains that I need is Lou the plumber and I'll have every single one for the entire toy line for series one and two wow I've been trying to collect these I started collecting coughs and crooks back in uh probably 2013 2012 somewhere in there and uh they were a lot cheaper back then they've gone up a lot in price what an amazing toy line. I've always liked the car artwork on these, too. I always thought that was so awesome. That's one of my... Another big reason why I love collecting older toys, too. I love uh, all the older card artwork. And everything in general, this this is really takes me back to uh, my early days. Love seeing these. Very awesome stuff. Here's my Cops and Crooks wall right there. You can see Series 1. Uh, the Cops are up top. The Crooks are down below. It's looking pretty good, and John H. definitely has a lot to do with this Series 2. This is Series 2 right here. Before uh, before him, I just had one. I had Nightmare on the bottom left, and that was it. So he sent me all these. So huge thanks to him. I just need to get some vehicles now. There's a vehicle sitting right there, sloppily on my shelf. Um, so I'm going to start going after more of those. I have a couple of them, but uh, there's a few that I need left. But uh, very, very nice uh, retro wallpaper there, all in um, Toy Shield and Zolo cases. The first series is in Zolo cases, and uh, a lot of the second series are in Toy Shields. So, um, 
Thanks so much, Jonathan Hall. Once again, man, you are awesome. I really appreciate that. I can't thank you enough. Let me know um, what you're looking after right now as far as collecting goes, and I'll uh, get some of the scent down to you, man. Um, cannot thank you enough, dude, for helping me uh, nearly complete Series 2 of this toy line. Absolutely amazing. we got one more package left for you guys. This has been an awesome FMF, by the way. As always, you guys killed it. Sending in great stuff. The last one up is from Mr. Dan Schultz. Close friend of the channel. Really awesome guy. You know, he looks forward to FMF every single week. And he's constantly sending in great stuff. I don't even know how many weeks in a row this is that Dan has sent us stuff. And I see right off the bat a box of 95 Flair, which is an amazing, amazing contribution to FMF. Wow. Dan has sent us uh, probably at least two wax boxes a week for the last three months or so. 95 Flare is an amazing, amazing box, too. Uh, I don't even know if I ever even opened a box of these or even a pack of these. Maybe one time. I always love the older Flare cards. That is so awesome. Thanks so much, Dan. And I see some Ghostbusters stuff in here. I'm going to pull everything out. I see 89 Don Russ. Dan usually never includes a note, but uh, him and I do chat through email kind of often. Two boxes of 89 Don Ross, the iconic 89 Don Ross, the Griffey Jr. rookie card, and also Biggio and others. And whoa, very cool. He sent me the Ghostbusters Blu ray. Very nice. Very cool stuff. Ghostbusters Blu ray and digital copy. I did not have this, Dan. I have a DVD, but I did not have the Blu-ray copy. This edition. This is very cool. Thanks so much, man. Very, very nice of you, Dan. Very cool stuff. Love that artwork on the front, too. That is awesome. The library ghost there. This is like the, the collectible steel book there, too. I always thought about picking that up, but I never did because I always had the DVD. So um, that is awesome for a collector like me to have that in my personal collection. Thank you so much, Dan, for that. And like I said, 95 Flare is an awesome one. Very awesome. Um, we'll definitely have to rip those at some point, too. And 89 Don Russ, legendary 89 Don Russ with Kangaroo Jr. rookie card, Biggio, Kurt Schilling, John Smoltz. Amazing set there. Two complete wax boxes. So Dan, Dan sent three complete wax boxes. Wow. Amazing stuff. And then, what is, what is this? A uh, Ghost of the Vinyl figure. Very cool. From These are made by Funko. Um, and I guess it doesn't tell us which one's inside. It's a mystery. Mystery minis. I guess we'll have to rip this open and see who's in here. Mystery minis. Dan always sends killer stuff. Every single week, he sends us a box full of awesome stuff. And it's in a bag. Let's see who it is. It, it looks like it's Vankman. It looks like Vankman. Very cool stuff. So these are little vinyl figures. Pete Vankman. Peter Vankman vinyl figure. That is awesome, man. I like that a lot. So they made all four Ghostbusters, and they made some other characters from the movies as well. Stay Puft, the library ghost, it looks like. And they made, like, um, marshmallow versions of them and whatnot after they were the battle with Gozer. Very cool stuff. I like that a lot. These are actually pretty nice. Never seen them before, but I like that. But thank you for that, Dan. And, of course, we have singles in here. Dan always sends singles as well. They're all in top loaders. Bunch of newer cards here. Coho Crisp, and this is numbered 63 out of 99. It's a nice one. Coho Crisp, and it's a patch relic. Never seen uh, this one before from Upper Deck. And Yuri Tavares, 387 out of, th out of 399, and that's actually a quad relic. That is really cool. I like that one a lot. Never seen that one before either. Alexi Ogando, dual relic there, and auto as well. Very cool. 2011 tops. And that's 61 out of 69. Dan always sends relics, autos, all kinds of uh, awesome stuff. This is a um, variety pack full of great stuff. Dave Justice's older postcard from his rookie year, 1990. And a hey, uh, 
Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar, I can't pronounce his name. I always butcher all the newer players' names. You guys know that. Very cool. A Calvin Chiraldi, 88 Don Russ card. Taylor Widener auto from uh, Elite, Panini Elite. Kyle Martin rookie card. Didn't have this one. It's a nice one, too, from Update. I like that design. It's really cool. Mayor Mirrors, 92 Pinnacle rookie card. It's a nice one. Always like getting Mayor Mirrors rookie cards. Always a big Manny fan. John Gray. That's his rookie card. Nice one there. 2016 tops. Scott Kingery rookie card. Didn't have that one from Revolution. Reese Hoskins rookie. Jose Altuve with 84 tops design. Javier Baez. Nice. And a Lewis Revelo. Auto. Very nice. Panini um, Elite. Very cool. And there's a Kenyon Jr. rookie card. Didn't have this one either. Dan Schultz sent me a bunch of Acuna rookie cards. A ton of good rookie cards in general. Players I didn't have. And this is one I did not have at all. Very nice. And that's Topps Chrome. like that one a lot. And the last one here is another auto. Somebody I've never heard of before. Hernan Irabaran uh, from the Brewers. 2008 Upper Deck. Very cool. It's before the end of Upper Deck in general. That is very awesome, Dan. Thank you so much for all the... Very nice stuff you sent, man. As always, you killed it. Please let me know down below if there's anything you're looking for. Like always, Dan, I'd be happy to hook you up, send you something back in return. You always uh, make it an amazing FMF, all the stuff that you send. Really appreciate your thoughtfulness and generosity. You guys all killed it. I really appreciate your friendship and everything you send. Um, please, if you didn't include notes, let me know down below what you collect, and I'd like to get you something sent out. If you did include notes, uh, be looking out for a package from me sometime next week, guys. Thanks again. Enjoy your weekend, and I have a weekend uh, national recap for you guys on Sunday evening. Um, maybe even a Stranger Things box break tomorrow night. So hope to see you then. Until next time, have a good weekend, guys.